Hey everybody, this is Carl Cummings. It's been a while since I recorded a video, but I've been getting a lot of phone calls on how to create sleep timers in G, so I decided it's time to make another video. Um, so, the most common practice is on the media tab, someone wants to create a sleep timer or a couple sleep timers so that the audio zone turns off after a specified amount of time. Um, and, you know, most TVs have it built in, but this is usually used in a case where there's a surround sound and so on, and they want the whole audio zone to turn off as well. So the best place to put them is on the actual zone in the settings page, because that way you can access the sleep timer buttons from any source. If you don't know what I mean by settings page, uh, check out the G training guide, and it has a section in there about settings. So once you get a settings page added, like I have here on my rock, um, you can go in there and add some buttons. The buttons that I recommend using, or at least for this training video, we're using uh, button toggle buttons. So when you right click on any tab and add a new control, the button type is a button toggle. And that will allow us to turn on a timer and give an indication that it's on as well as shut off other timers if we decide to change how long a timer runs for. So to give an example of what I'm talking about, let's go into my viewer. So here I'm listening to some Bismarcky on my rock speaker. And if I go to my settings page, I got three timers. Um, for training purposes, I change these to five seconds, 10 seconds, and uh, 15 seconds for the one hour. So if I hit the 15 minute sleep timer, uh, you will see that in five seconds, my zone turns off. So uh, going back to the, me well, that's why I only have one zone. So anyways, that, that zone's off, you can tell, because the source icon is no longer blue. So I'll go back into that, and uh, just to show you what I'm talking about, it's blue now. Um, and we are playing music and my sleep timer is off. So just to show you once again, but I'll leave the settings page up. I will hit the sleep timer button that counts down for five seconds and turns off the zone. Um, and then also the others, it's 10 seconds, so that one takes a little bit longer. Um, but you know, in real world application, it would be 30 minutes. And a couple seconds here, it turns off. So, but, but the thing is, is, you want to make sure that these sleep timers work in all types of applications. So if I hit the five second timer, I should be able to hit it again and not worry about that zone turning off because I disabled the sleep timer. And I would say it's been about five seconds, so you can see it's still playing. And at the same time, I should be able to hit this and then hit this one, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So you can see that I can have one timer going, and by hitting the other timer, it cancels that timer and starts the new timer that I just created, as well as canceling the timer that's currently active. So how do you do that? Well, first thing you got to do is add your three buttons. So these are all going to be the button toggle type buttons. To add those in, get them labeled, get them sized, put them on all your different layouts. Uh, once you have those buttons in, we're going to spend all our time on the event mapper tab. And you're basically going to have three event maps per button. You're going to have an event map that turns on when the, when the, the button's pressed. What does it do? Uh, you're going to have one that, when that timer expires, it turns the zone off. And you're going to have one that says, when I hit that button and turn the button off before the timer expires, go ahead and cancel it so that it doesn't uh, turn off the zone. So that's in the case when somebody turns the sleep timer on but decides they no longer want to have it on. They want to watch TV all night. So uh, first, first thing you're going to do is create a timer, a run once system timer for each sleep timer time. 
So here we got a 15 minute one. You can put your base time here. Uh, like I said, for training purposes, I'm doing five seconds there, 10 seconds there, and 15 seconds there. Uh, then you're going to create an event map for each uh, increment of time. So in this case, we're just going to talk about the 15 minute one. So I created an event map. The first one is when the toggle button turns on, which you can find in general system. You're going to find your button and use the available event of on. We're going to do a couple commands. Uh, the first commands that you want are to cancel any other timers going on. So you're going to go into your timer section and pick your two timers and cancel them. Because when you turn on one timer, you want to cancel the other two. You're also going to turn the corresponding toggle buttons off for those timers. So you're going to find the other two, the one hour and in this case the 30 minutes, and turn those toggle buttons off. And then you're going to start your 15 minute timer, or in this case, five second timer that we created here, which can be found in timers. And then you're just going to start it for whatever amount of time you want it to. So that's your first event map. That's when the toggle button is pressed on for that timer. Do this stuff. The next one that you're going to create is when that timer expires. So you're going to create an event that when that 15 minute timer expires, what do we want it to do? Well, we want it to turn that zone off. So you come down here to commands and select your audio zone and choose the command of turn off. And then you also want to turn that toggle button off so that way when, when it's no longer active because the zone is off, the sleep timer toggle button turns off. So of course, find your toggle button under general systems and turn that toggle button off. And the very last thing you want to do is when somebody cancels it. So if somebody walks up to that toggle button, turns it off when it's on. So the sleep timer is currently active, but they decide they don't want to use it anymore. You want to cancel that timer so that if you cancel it, this event map never happens and the zone never turns off. And that's it. So you're just going to do three different event maps for each uh, whatever timer increment you want for sleep and create an individual timer for each sleep timer button. All right, if you need any help beyond that, give us a call at uh, Elon Tech Support, 1-800-622-3526. Thanks for watching.